Okay, so we are walking the Angels Branch right of way. We're heading north toward Angels Camp. And this is normally below waterline. We are walking through one of the more well-preserved cuts. Most of them that we've walked through are extremely corroded. And there are several washouts down here this way, so it's and it's pretty nerve-wracking to follow this line now that most of it's underwater. That uh, this is what's left of the Angels Branch, and it's not very picturesque anymore. But it's not to say that it doesn't have any surprises left to show those who want to wander down and check it out these days. There's the right of way, and there's still quite a few ties left in there, embedded in the uh, the road, the right of way, the roadbed. Um, and you can kind of see where there's a washout right over there. And you can see the right of way kind of picks up again over there, and there's a small cut. It works its way over there. And the shelf up the upper left is the right of way. You can see it way back over to that cut. And then the right of way is on that ridge right below the New Malone's Crossing. Okay, so we're walking the Angels Branch. I guess what would it be, southbound? Uh, or railroad westbound. Yeah, westbound. Heading toward Oakdale. We're heading toward Jamestown and, and in a sense, toward Oakdale. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just passed Jiwa's Point a bit earlier. We're walking back to it. We're on our round trip. And this line is nothing short of incredible, or at least it was. Maybe someday you could put rails back here, or at least a memorial. Spread the word. And there are quite a number of cuts and curves on this line. And also quite a few trees that have fallen across the right of way and make it a little difficult to get around. And we are on about a 2% grade, one and a half to two percent grade here. And this isn't this is nowhere near the steepest on this line. There are quite a number of curves and grades, that's for sure. But it is certainly scenic. Even as the waters of the reservoir inundated this area. Years ago, there were several hundred feet below the surface of that lake that you could see, stare at, and all. Not so much anymore, but it's still a scenic view. And it was certainly a hair-raising railroad, hair-raising route through the Sierras and the Calaveras County foothills. And most of these fence posts you can see on the hillside are old ties that have survived the last 80 years. As interesting as that is, there are still a few in the ground. I also have a few hawks up there looking for their dinner. So we are walking we're continuing a walk back towards the New Malone's Reservoir Crossing, the highway bridge, the new highway bridge anyway, and also toward G. Wiz Point in Jamestown. Here's the maintenance road again. Yep, off to the left here is a slight grade off the main line. 
where supposedly a maintenance spur was. You can kind of see the grating of the switch. Here's that tie. We found another tie. Here's your spike holes right, right in there, it looks like. Yeah, they're all covered in dirt, but yeah. I knew I'd seen one in here somewhere. Yeah, two of them actually. And we're walking back through another cut, which I believe on the other side of that cut is Jiwa's Point. Jiwa's Point, of course, they gave it that name because uh, it's a very foggy bit of information. You can't really, you can give it a guess, but you won't really know. Is once you saw at the once Stanislaus River Canyon, turning your back toward the river, you would see an abyss about a thousand feet down. It was nothing short of amazing to see back then. And even now, with the reservoir a few hundred feet higher than it used to be, it's still an amazing sight. And we're walking through one of the many cuts here. And let's just look over the side of the right-of-way here and you can see the tracks go, the road, the right-of-way goes straight down almost. And in areas even steeper than this. And we're walking through the cut, the gateway to G Wiz Point, so to speak. is off to the right, so we're basically shortcutting through the ridge. That's the big promontory that shows up on the maps. And we even have our little Sierra Railway book along to have us, you know, to point us in the right direction for getting the same angle for the photo. Now let's get up on the side over here and take a look. Get out your books and look at the photo. This is the same spot, although the water level is a lot higher. And that's it. And it's almost straight down to the water. And about 50, 60 years ago, this was not there. And you can look straight down a thousand feet. Watch that first step. <laughs> All right, so this is the final shot of the Angels Branch hike uh, for Sierra Railroad locations. We are near Greenstone Spur at the site of Six Mile Creek Trestle. Unfortunately, the bridge is not here anymore. Okay, here is the right-of-way. You can see that cut there. And then it drops off a ledge here, and there was a massive trestle here compared to most of the Sierra's other trestles. And especially most of them on the Angels Branch. A lot of them were small. This one was pretty, pretty large. I'd say it was probably about 150 feet long or so, 200, 200 feet or so. You can't really see it because of the, just the depth perception isn't too great on this camera, but you can see the creek down there. And then, 
basically right straight ahead straight ahead in the center of the shot is where the right-of-way meets up and it's really difficult to tell because of all the overgrowth now it's actually one of the easier areas to tell the right-of-way nowadays but yeah it's, uh, it's all gone now and then we're here near the frog jump fairgrounds near the baseball diamonds in Angel's camp the depot was about a mile that way from here. Six Mile Creek Trestle was just outside the yard by about 600 feet or so. And now we're walking back in the direction of the Stanislaus River Canyon where we were filming earlier and Jamestown. And this is again one of I would say hundreds of cuts, but that's probably overshooting it a bit. But definitely one of dozens of cuts along the Angels Branch. There were quite a few on the switchback system alone in the Stanislaus River Canyon. And just up here was a location known as Greenstone Spur. It was a spur track that came up off the main line here to the left. You can see a little bit of it, uh, but not too much. Greenstone Spur was the last section of new track ever constructed on the Angels Branch. It held promise for them in a time where the Angels Branch was not turning a profit at all. And then I believe it was the early 1930s when there was still hope left for the line as far as making a bit of profit could go. But, uh, it was not successful for the railroad and eventually they ran the railroad dry until it was too dangerous to operate over and they scrapped it and they had surveyed the entire line from Jamestown to Angels Camp and it was about it was somewhere was around a hundred thousand dollars of maintenance costs to keep it running so instead they just jumped at the chance and filed for abandonment Anyway, this, the spur track for Greenstone was right here. You can kind of see where it would have gone off. It's where the right-of-way was, was kind of filled in. There's a little hill right there that wasn't there before. But this is where the spur was. And here are the, the baseball diamond over here. And looking back towards Angel's camp. So, yeah. The Greenstone Spur was constructed with 60 pound rail, it was the heaviest rail on the Angels Branch. Most of it was 40 pound rail, which is anybody who knows uh, the sizes of rail, you know, can think of it in your head. 40 pound rail is just about the smallest size you can have on a standard gauge railroad. You know, and by, especially by the 1930s, they didn't make it anymore, so they had to order 60 pound rail instead for the branch which was more than enough for the little number 30 and 32 which were running on the branch at that time to use to run safely on 40 pound was a, pushing it a little bit but yeah so that's it for this Sierra Railroad locations uh, tune in next time because it will probably have several more hikes on the Angels branch